Cordon Cavier is a fascinating volcano in the south of Chile, and it's produced some of the most recent eruptions of rhyolite, which is this really thick, sticky magma that makes particularly thick lava flows and particularly explosive eruptions. We went there in 2012 because there'd just been an enormous eruption that was still continuing, and this was our chance to get right in there, see an obsidian flow moving for the first time ever. An obsidian flow is the opposite of what you'd probably think lavas are like. It's no red river of lava oozing down a mountain. It's actually a rubble-strewn, incredibly thick mass of rock that is slowly creaking its way at the kind of speed that a glacier moves at. There are obsidian flows all over the planet, but no one has ever watched one move before, so we've only speculated about how they actually advance. And what we found that was particularly exciting was that it kept on going, even after the eruption had stopped. It was still flowing away uh, many months afterwards. So when we go back in January 2014, it'll be more than one and a half years after the eruption stopped, and we'll, we'll be looking very carefully at the lava. If it is still moving, this really tells us that these lavas continue to move for a very protracted period after the eruptions stop. And this is a period when they can be potentially hazardous because the lavas could suddenly collapse and produce sudden avalanches of lava and ash that could sweep their way down the sides of the mountain. The scale of that obsidian flow is quite staggering. So it's something like 10 times thicker than the height of a double-decker bus. It's an enormously thick thing. And it's quite difficult to appreciate the scale till you get down there. This is the obsidian flow. This is footage that North John Castro has collected. He the, dashed down to the flow front to quickly grab a sample during the eruption in, in 2012. And then part of the lava flow collapsed fairly near him. So he had to quickly get out of there with his hard won sample. One sample is actually warm to the touch. We've watched for the first time ever a really important kind of lava flowing. It reveals lots of secrets to us about how lavas advance, so that now we can make new models that can encompass all the different kinds of lavas on the planet and how they move.